have no idea what you're about. Tell me in a sentence who you are. I'm nobody. I'm a tramp, a bum, a hobo. I'm a boxcar and a jug of wine. And a straight racer if you get too close to me. Believe me, if I started murdering people, there'd be none of you left. Yeah, of course. See you in your office. Yeah, that works for me. Okay, thank you, bro. I'll see you then. You're welcome, I guess. Laters. Laters! Well, that was surprising. <laughs> Why do I have them all meet me in my fucking office? I pick up the pair of tickets from the office, just like she asked. It still seems really surprising to me, though I can't imagine that at all. But before I continue, I... Oh, messages. Alright, here we go. Um, well, I would really appreciate your help with it. I'm taking Charlotte to that dance, and I've got a nice dress picked out and everything, but I do not know the first thing about makeup at all. And I really, really, really want to impress her. She's going to go to a lot of effort, I know, and I would feel terrible if I didn't do that too, you know? Except, um... I am totally clueless when it comes to that. You? In a nice dress? No way. Oh my god. What have you done with the real Kendall? Of course I'll help. It sounds like a worth cause. After all, come on, we can meet up after school. We'll go to shoppers together. Shoppers? Yeah. And I'll help you out. I just have one condition. Thank you. What's the condition? You absolutely must show me the dress. Wow, I can't even imagine that. Okay, fair enough. Thank you again. Now, if only I could get you to go all the way with the Eliza Doolittle thing. Well, well, meet me outside after school then. It's no problem at all. Alrighty. There we go. Should be all caught up now. Kendall's probably already on her way to my office. But before I go, I should take a break to see if there's any... Oh, fucking 12 channel post. Damn it. What the fuck is this? Bondage General. Uh, I approve of this message. <laughs> Another fucking Bondage General thread. Even though we had one of these like two hours ago. Where's that one? I like girls tied up as much as the next girl. But not wall all bondaged all the fucking time, okay? That's stupid. You're stupid. This whole system's stupid. Bondage and sexual restriction in the social mores of 16th century Korea poetry. What? Trying way too hard to be wacky. Forced meme is forced. Yo, Cho- what? Was the sister of one of the- Alright, I don't even know. Korea's most important writers, and because of that, in an incredible feat for a woman of her time, she was able to learn some literature in Chinese, the intellectual lingua French. Oh, I don't even know. What is this? I don't even. I agree. What the fuck? You're ruining everything. Actually, more retarded than OP. Since women were not supposed to be literate beyond reading etiquettes about how to be a good wife and keeping with Confucius training, Confucian training uh, tradition, she got into one uh, one little fight and her mom got scared and said, "You're moving with your auntie and uncle to Bel Air." <laughs> I whistled for a cab, and when it came near, the license plate said fresh and it <laughs> dice in the mirror. If anything, I could say that this cab was rare, was rare but I thought, nah, forget it. Yo, Holmes, to Bel Air. I pulled up to the house about 7 or 8. I yelled to the cabbie, yo, Holmes, smell you later. Looked at my kingdom, and I was finally there to sit on my throne as the Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> <laughs> 17 year old copy pasta. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Ruining a perfectly good thread about forced comedy. Fuck, never mind. It was actually better when it was stupid and serious. Bondage general lol. Lol. Alright. Alright, that was kind of that was kind of fun. That's enough dawdling for me. Let's go out there. Oh hey Kendall. Sup, sir. Hey. I got you the tickets, and your change. She takes the pair of tickets from me, but not the money! Uh, actually, there's something else I wanted to ask you, sir. It's, um, 
kind of a weird request, though. You want a vibrator, don't you? You want a fucking vibrator. And you can't buy one because you're in high school. Of course. Why don't you have a seat? She sits down and I fidget with the refused money, somewhat awkwardly. What could this possibly be about? More drama? Great. Just when I was thinking, what could finally just focus? We, we could finally just focus on worrying about academics, too. So, what's the problem? Oh, no problem, sir. Just, uh, I was thinking, the dance runs late, right? I kind of wanted to make it a whole evening thing. Big fancy date and all. Makes sense. I kind of have the house to myself all that week. Parents off on vacation, so like, it would be rad if I invited her over afterward, you know, so that's totally what you want me to do. You want me to buy you a fucking sex toy. Oh, jeez. Okay, that part I understand. I understood. Don't explain, please. I, I get the picture. I try not to face palm or wince, meaning that far more literally than I had ever intended. All the more power to her, but I really don't want to picture Kendall taking Charlotte home, because my pants cannot handle that. I don't really... I don't think I can exactly help you with that, though. Actually, you totes can, sir. I kind of doubt that. Hell, what's she going to ask? I honestly can't even imagine at this point. What could she possibly be talking about? I know! John, you're being dense. She wants a sex toy. Uh, I want it to be proper and romantic. I've got the whole thing worked out, except... Well, could I get you to buy... Oh, buy drinks? Oh! Oh, I feel... <laughs> well, this is, I think this is worse, though. Because they're underage. They can't be drinking alcohol. <laughs> well, can I get you to buy drinks for me, sir? I'm only 17, and I really don't want to pay for fake ID. Just for this one thing. Oh! Uh, it wouldn't really be professional. You know what, Kendall? I was gonna say yes to the sex toy. I should probably say yes to the alcohol. I laugh. Man, that's it? That's the big request? I thought it was going to be... Oh, you are on the same page with me, John! Oh, man! I don't know, something weird. Sure, <laughs> of course. Oh, my God, thank you, sir. This is going to be great. I've told you this before, but you are a true bro, sir. The broest of bros! Yeah, yeah, you, you said that before. Uh, if there's- if that's supposed to be flattery, you don't need to bother. I did already agree. Lol, okay, true story. Unprofessional? Yeah, probably. But trying to prevent underage drinking is kind of a ridiculous joke. She might as well get something good out of it. I mean, I would have- I would have never asked one of my teachers for something like that. It'd be unthinkably crazy, but Kendall is kind of unthinkably crazy, so, you know. Do you have plans after school? We could go right now if you want. No, wait, she does. Er, sorry, actually, yes. Is later this evening cool? Yeah, that's completely fine. I'll, it'll give me a chance to change anyway. Why don't we meet at Chester and Garrett at, you know, is seven good? Yeah, seven's totally totes rad. I'll see you then. Thank you, sir. You're a pro. All right, 7 p.m. Meeting with one of my uh, one of my students again outside, and I got the same fucking clothes. Oh man! So, so, did you have anything particularly in mind, or? Yeah, actually, I mean, I fig. What? I fig Charlotte is probably not going to be much for beer. Probably not. Well, how about a nice sake, though? She'd probably dig that. Um, did I give you enough money for that? I don't know. Don't worry about it. You're a bro, sir! So you keep saying. I go off to find something for it. It occurs to me that this is a little bit ridiculous. The last time I, I left an underage girl outside a liquor store while I went in was probably before she was born. Ridiculous. 
I don't take too long from returning. Oh, oh jeez. Here you go, Miss Flowers. It's not the really expensive sort, but it's what got me through every university dinner party. Just make sure to serve it warm, and it'll be perfect for a date. You got it, sir. Thank you so much. I totes appreciate this like you would not believe. Yeah, well, have fun, Kendall. You can repay me by not telling, by not ever telling me about this evening, okay?